Yo, what's up guys, Dezo here, and today we're going to be talking about why the Winds of Winter is taking so long, and we're also going to be talking about why there might be more than 7 books. So The Winds of Winter might be one of the most highly anticipated books ever, and it's taking George longer than ever to write it. There's been a lot of speculation as to why, but the main reason is probably because he doesn't know what to do. Now, I'm not bashing George in any way, I think George is one of the greatest writers of all time. But over the past five books, all George has been doing is story building. The world has gotten so out of hand that George doesn't know how to bring it to a conclusion nicely. In one of my previous videos about George's original outline, George says he loses all interest in writing a book if he knows exactly where it's going. He's been adding new characters and even some new point of view characters. He's also added a few big plots that can't just be resolved in a couple chapters. One of these big plots is Aegon Targaryen. Aegon is Rhaegar's son who Varys apparently saved and was raising to be the perfect king. There's some debate whether it's actually Aegon or just a pretender, but either way, right now in the books, he's invading Westeros with an army of sellswords. In the books, this invasion is probably going to be as big as Daenerys's, and there is no way it can wrap up quickly. With that said, in the original outline, George also said he has a pretty good idea of where a few characters will end up at the end. The books in the show are going to come to the same overall ending, but the books are a lot more complex. George probably knew the major plots for the major characters, and that's what he told HBO. That's what HBO was working off of. Characters like Lady Stoneheart and characters like Aegon Targaryen, who the show does not have, probably aren't even fully developed in George's mind. So what the show is doing is the show is taking the most fully developed plot points and tying it all together in the same way George originally wanted to. But the books are a lot more complex like I said, and they are going in a completely different direction until they meet at that same ending and George probably doesn't know how to get it there yet. That is why The Winds of Winter is taking so long. So after all the hate HBO gets for not putting all the characters in and leaving out certain details and stuff, it's probably because those details aren't fully developed, and like David and Dan always say, the story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And they are trying to do it in the best way that makes sense. Now I'm not saying that the books are going to have a bad ending, I'm saying that there might be more than 7 books simply because George is still story building in the sixth book. If HBO did exactly what George has done, every single detail, every single everything, there would probably be like 40 seasons. If you have read the first five books, you will see that some of these chapters take place over a couple weeks. Night and day is always changing. Someone will go to sleep and wake up a couple days later sometimes. It's just crazy how much time lapses there are in the books. If HBO did every single thing, it wouldn't even look that good on screen, but it works in the books. If David and Dan did the same thing as George, they would also need to put the show on hiatus for a couple years so they could plan everything out with George to make it exactly the same. There is simply no way that Game of Thrones could maintain its quality if they put in every detail. And I don't think people understand this. Everybody thinks, oh, David and Dan suck. No, they're just using what they have to work with to get the story to where it needs to go. Let's just assume that George lives till he's 97. He has 30 more years to develop the story and bring it where he needs to go. The show can't do that. Actors die. People get bored of it. Stuff like that. George can do whatever he wants and he's doing it in the best way that he can and keeping the quality and the foreshadowing details and putting in everything he wants to. George has even hinted that there might be more than 7 books, saying that 8 would even be a good number simply because there were 8 kingdoms before Aegon's conquest. He's already had to break one book into two and he's already had to push plot lines farther out. A Feast for Crows and A Dance with Dragons were supposed to be one book. The battle for Winterfell with Stannis was supposed to happen in A Dance with Dragons. So this is why I think there will be more than 7 books and this is why I think that The Winds of Winter is taking so long. There is just simply no way George can put all this detail in but with only 7 books. And this is probably what he's been trying to decide. Where should he end the book? What does he have to rewrite to make it make sense? Stuff like this. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Leave a like on this video and subscribe for more Game of Thrones related videos. There's a playlist to all my other theories in the description below. Feel free to check that out as well.